Do you like cream and sugar in your coffee? Or would you like some cream in genetically modified bacteria poop? No, really. What do you have in your coffee? <laughs> I heard somebody telling me the other day that aspartame, or sweet and low, or equal, those type of uh, artificial sweeteners were, were made with genetically modified bacteria poop. So I thought I'd look into it. We're on the independent here. This is out of England. Uh, we'll scroll down. We find right here. Aspartame is made by combining phenylalanine, which is naturally produced by bacteria, with another amino acid. Monsanto has genetically engineered the bacteria to make them produce more phenylalanine. Interesting. Um, walk with me. We'll go over to another website here. I like to always uh, get some .govs in here, so let's start off with the FDA, the United States Food and Drug Administration. You'll notice here, any of you Masons out there, New World Order guys, uh, that the the logo, the FDA, has got its own uncapped pyramid right there in your face. So let's move down here. The FDA statement on European aspartame studies. We'll end up coming back to this page. I want to point this out first, since we're chasing this rabbit about what is aspartame. When metabolized by the body, aspartame is broken down into two common amino acids, aspartic acid and phenylalanine, and a third substance, methanol. Hmm. Let's chase that rabbit and see where it leads us. Here we are on sourcewatch.org. Uh, their page on aspartame has quite a lot of information. I've scrolled down here to aspartyl phenylalanine diketopeprazine. A type of diketopeprazine, DKP, is created in products as aspartame breaks down over time. For example, researchers found that six months after aspartame was put into carbonated beverages, 25% of the aspartame had been converted to DKP. And you'll see down here, they say that this is a DKP is a typical chemical that could cause brain tumors. So let's uh, chase that rabbit a little further, the brain tumors part here. <laughs> that took me like 10 seconds. Naturalnews.com has an article, The Link Between Aspartame and Brain Tumors, What the FDA Never Told You About Artificial Sweeteners. Let's scroll down and I'm going to point out some information that will support everything I've uh, presented so far. Drinking formaldehyde? <laughs> As aspartame gets broken down in your digestive tract, a metabolic byproduct called DKP appears. According to Dr. Blaylock, when your stomach processes DKP, it appears it, no, it produces a compound very similar to nitroceria, a powerful brain tumor-causing chemical. There we go. Look, aspartame contains methanol. We saw that on the FDA site. Yeah, uh, the body breaks methanol down into formic acid and formaldehyde. How, how wonderful! Let's see if we can uh, chase that rabbit. Methanol and formaldehyde. Approximately 10% of aspartame, by mass, is broken down into methanol in the small intestine. Methanol, or most of the methanol, is absorbed and quickly converted into formaldehyde. <laughs> this is uh, known to be a human carcinogen. All right. That's wonderful. Let's uh, keep going here to see what uh, Wikipedia has to say about methanol. You'll see here, methanol has a high toxicity in humans. If ingested, for example, as little as 10 milliliters of pure methanol can cause permanent blindness. Ooh, okay, so let's keep with the methanol rabbit here and check this out. SebaVision.com. Uh, down here, the statistics, approximately 800 million people worldwide are blind severely visually impaired or have near vision, vision sight loss. That's a staggering amount of people. I didn't realize it was that high. Uh, my uncle is uh, blind. Uh, let's keep moving here. We'll let's go uh, to another uh, .gov site here. The National Institute or the National Eye Institute has a real big declaration here in red with a very visible font that's easy to read right here. More Americans facing blindness than ever before. <laughs> I wonder if all this stuff's linked together. Now I'm bringing out the heavy artillery. <laughs> if anybody's at the tip of the spear when it comes to exposing aspartame for what it really is, a bioweapon used to lower your immunity and increase the profit margins in all these pharmaceutical companies that are willing to give you any type of pill for any type of illness, 
uh, that would be Betty Martini, Dr. Betty Martini. This is her website here, Mission Possible World Health International. Now, she's been fighting for 25 years, and who has she been fighting? Well, check it out. Well, she's up against corporate monsters like Monsantos. They genetically modify everything. They probably genetically modified your child. <laughs> From the inside out, that is. <laughs> With all their foods. Jeez. Uh, they made DDT back in the day. I've had, I've done a bunch of videos on these guys. You Look at all these movies. You can watch all these movies on Monsanto's and every single one of them will make you more nervous than the next one. So, sorry. Uh, look, they make $10.5 billion. That is an awful lot of money. Couple them with Coca-Cola. Whew! You know, everybody knows, or no, I shouldn't say everybody knows, but Coca-Cola used to put cocaine in their drinks. Okay? Now they put aspartame in the diet ones. And I think aspartame might also get people fat because I see a lot of overweight, overweight people only drinking diet sodas. You know, you never, you know, maybe that's something there. Right. 35.1 billion, that's a lot of money. Now, who is Betty Martini going to talk to in the video I'm about to show you? Motar Kent. Coca-Cola CEO paid $21.2 million. Now, while he's talking, I want you to remember this here. Okay, The FDA reviewed the study data made available to them by ERF and finds that it does not support ERF's conclusions that aspartame is a carcinogen. So the American doctors say, no, it's not a carcinogen. But the European doctors say, yeah, it is. All right, a couple that with his comments about the levels of the ingredients in his drinks, because here it talks about as little as 10 milliliters of pure methanol can cause permanent blindness. I think he's using some funny language in order to promote his ideas. Well, here we go. Betty Martini taking on the corporate monsters. Enjoy. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to introduce Proxy Betty Martini. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm the founder of Mission Possible International and in the United States and 50 states and 42 countries of the world. And the only thing that we do is warn people off of aspartame. This is the medical text and it's been cut down 40% and I can hardly carry it. I write the obituaries on the sick and dying and Coke refuses to address this issue of aspartame disease, which is now global plague, causing seizures, MS, lupus, autism, blindness. I flew to, let's put it out a little bit, I flew to uh, Barcelona to talk to Dr. Almany, who did the Troco study that showed that the formaldehyde from the free methyl alcohol embalms living tissue. First thing he said to me, Betty Aspartame is going to kill 200 million people. I said, it probably already has. It's an abortifacient. The last three studies show it to be a multi-potential carcinogen, and uh, all the independent studies uh, uh, it, uh, explain what we are seeing in the population. Uh, a man by the name of Charles Fleming died from methanol poisoning. His wife, a Sunday school teacher, was put in prison for 30 years. All experts looked at the autopsy and said he died from aspartame. Now there's another case, but people are dying all over the world. I lecture all over the world, and we're unpaid. That's all we do is try to save as many as we can. And I have told Coca-Cola for years, and Coca-Cola puts out the propaganda by industry, which has been disproven by the experts. Thank you, Madam. Um, again, um, what I would say to you categorically is that if we believe there was any risk uh, to human health 
from any of the ingredients, including the one that you mentioned, aspartame, uh, 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 we would absolutely uh, not have it in our products, categorically. Overwhelming scientific research in all countries, emerging as well as Western nations around the world, indicate that based on the levels of use of that ingredient uh, as a sweetener, uh, it is, has no uh, negative implications for human health and therefore we rely again on scientific data as well as the opinions, clear, clear opinions of the regulatory authorities in the United States as well as all countries around the world. And it's not, not just to, uh, uh, um, confined to aspartame, it is the same level of scrutiny uh, that we use is for all ingredients across our sparkling and still beverages. And I can assure you that, again, if there was any doubt, we would not be uh, using any of that in our products. And we are absolutely assured of the safety.